Hi guys, um, it's been a long time uh, since I've made a video and today I just want to take a time to have a chat with you in light of what is taking place across the world in the wake of COVID-19. Uh, many IT jobs have basically changed and I know many of you are probably asking the question, how do I prepare myself for the future? I just want to take this time to say thank you for the support that you guys have given to our YouTube platform. We have reached over 7,500 views with well over 200 subscribers and we could not have achieved this without your support. This video has been shot in the midst of the COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic. Many people have lost their jobs. This virus has basically affected every country across the globe. The job market is shifting. The positions that we know in IT are changing. And the question is, how do you future-proof yourself? What certifications can you study that can ensure that you have a job in the future? Please, I'm just going to put a disclaimer. I'm not saying what I'm, I'm about to share in this video is going to 100% guarantee your job in the future. But based on the trends of the market and the technologies that are basically predominant at the moment, there are certain aspects that one can look into the future and acquire necessary skills that would ensure that they are still relevant in the market in the next 10 to 15 years. And I'm going to go through and explain the different qualifications and why I think that they would still be relevant on the market. So about a week and a half back, I came across this question on my Reddit platform. Someone was asking, they wanted to change careers. They had an interest in IT and in computing. And they were wondering what certification would give them the necessary skills that they require at an entry level. And I'm sure this is a question that many of you are contemplating. Where do I start? I want to get into the IT industry or I've been in the industry, but I want to know what can I do to help myself? And in this video, we're basically going to look at four of my personal certifications that I feel that they will still be relevant in the market in the next 10 to 15 years. So certification number one is CompTIA Network Plus. CompTIA Network Plus is an, an IT certification that looks at the network industry from a holistic perspective. So CompTIA certification is non-vendor associated. What that basically means is you're not going to be learning Microsoft, Cisco, or Juniper curricula inside the Network Plus certification. What you're basically going to be going through is what are the fundamentals of a network? How do two computers on a network talk to each other? What protocols do they need to be able to communicate? So you're going to be looking at things like the OSI layer. You're going to be looking at things like IP addresses. What is an IP address? How does an IP address work? What is a subnet mask? What does a subnet mask do? So you're going to be looking at things like network infrastructure. What is the equipment that is required in order for you to connect your network? So you look at things like switches, things like routers, um, wireless technologies. Uh, you're going to be looking at network operations in a business environment. So why do I think that Network Plus is a good starting point for anyone who's starting their career in IT? Like I stated earlier on, the content that you cover during your Network Plus is generic knowledge. This is knowledge that anyone who wants to start their IT journey needs to understand. What are the fundamentals that make a network work? Because it doesn't matter which specialty of IT that you're going to focus on, whether you're going to go into software development, whether you're going to go into networking, whether you're going to go into systems or virtualization. The base knowledge that is basically provided in your Network Plus certification makes you relevant and gives you the necessary skill set to allow you to build the foundation as you basically grow. So for me, I think that Network Plus is a good starting point and it is a good baseline for anyone who wants to build their journey in the IT sector or anyone who's starting their journey in the IT industry. 
The second certification is probably my favorite, as you can see, my sign, uh, that's Cisco CCNA. Now, CCNA is a great certification. Many people have been able to build a foundation in the IT industry or networking industry uh, due to CCNA. CCNA basically gives you network knowledge from a Cisco perspective. So you're gonna be focusing more on one particular vendor and the infrastructure that they use to be able to support networks. And Cisco is the largest vendor in the networking world that is trusted by many organizations across the world. So if you do CCNA certification, you are guaranteed that you will find Cisco infrastructure in at least 80% of organizations across the world. And this is basically spread between small to medium businesses and large businesses who use Cisco infrastructure because of the trust that they have. If you're able to attain your CCNA certification, you will be able to demonstrate to your potential future employer that not only do you have an understanding of network technologies and how they function, but you've got solid understanding in Cisco infrastructure, which many employers use as a benchmark to assess your competency or your skill set. I know some of you will probably be saying some organizations are shifting from Cisco to much cheaper alternatives. Yes, there's no argument. Cisco equipment is expensive and some businesses um, are shifting to much cheaper alternatives that are available in the market. If you are grounded in your CCNA knowledge and if you have understanding of command line interface within a Cisco environment, brands would not be a tedious task because what you're basically dealing with is the syntax in those respective uh, devices. But the fundamentals of how a network work, um, the configuration of VLANs, uh, understanding of routing protocols, this is knowledge that you would have acquired in your Cisco certification, which becomes relevant regardless of which vendor. The third certification on my list is AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. Organizations are shifting from on-premise infrastructure and going into the cloud environment. And at the present moment, there are two players that are in the cloud space. You either going to be hosting your infrastructure with AWS, or you're going to be hosting your infrastructure with Azure or Azure, which is basically Microsoft. Hosting infrastructure in the cloud is becoming the norm. And that is what is likely going to dictate the market in the next 10 to 15 years. You're going to see a significant shift by organizations who are moving the infrastructure from on-premises onto the cloud platform. Uh, a few reasons why organizations are choosing to do that. Number one is cost. The second element is scalability. On-premise infrastructure is usually defined by physical equipment. And physical equipment tends not to scale pretty well when you're dealing with loads. But when you get into cloud infrastructure, you get into technologies such as serverless platforms which basically means that your infrastructure has the capability to scale and shrink based on the demand that is coming through at that particular time. AWS has become the hot certification uh, at the present moment um, in, in the IT industry. It, it's kind of difficult to classify um, AWS certifications in terms of are they network focused, are they cloud focused, or are they systems focused? because most of the entry-level AWS certifications um, basically cover all aspects um, of the AWS environment, which involve security on one end, and you'll be looking at things like identity um, access. Um, then you look at networking side, where you look at load balancers, you're looking at uh, VPC networks, you're looking at um, uh, network address translation. So you've got a networking component, but at the same time, you've got a systems component when you look at EC2 instances, which are focusing more on the server infrastructure. So when you cover an AWS certification, you are basically going to cover all these uh, skill sets in one particular course. AWS comes in as a core competency that you need to have if you're going to set yourself up 
for the next five to ten years in the IT industry because most organizations that you're going to come across in 2020 are going to be hosting some level of infrastructure that is sitting in the cloud platform. So if you have AWS certifications, you become relevant to that organization. And, and the last one on my list it is not necessarily a certification per se, but the future of networking is automation. Organizations want to be able to automate their infrastructure in order to scale within the organization. And there's been a significant drive to go software defined networking, which draws skill sets in software engineering. I know this is not something that most network engineers had prepared ourselves for in our career, but we cannot argue the fact that the technology field is shifting. And if you don't shift with the technology, you run the risk of being left behind. I think many of us know the famous story of Nokia. They didn't do anything to fail, but failing to adapt led to their failure. So if you and I don't upskill, if you and I don't adapt in our career, we also run the risk of being left behind. Python at the present moment is the most in demand uh, software engineering language. If you're starting in the IT industry, it's important for you to consider learning some software development platform. Unfortunately, I'm yet to find a certification that focuses mainly on Python and Python alone. So at the present moment, I don't have a certification that I could recommend for you to say, go and do this certification on Python and you're going to be able to write the exam. At the present moment, you just have to search course in Python will be best for you to start. There's quite a lot of entry level courses like introduction to Python. All right. So let me reiterate the four certifications that according to me can help you future proof yourself in the market in the next 10 to 15 years. The first one is Network Plus, which is a CompTIA certification. Uh, please don't worry. I'm going to put links uh, down below the video. Uh, please feel free to go to the link so that you can be taken to the respective sites. The second one is Cisco CCNA. The third is um, AWS, uh, basically looking at the architect certification. And the last one is Python. So we're basically getting towards the end of our video. And I'm sure some of you are scratching your heads and you're asking, you've given us so much information. I am interested. Where to from here? What tools are available on the market that can allow me a platform for me to learn the skills that I'm looking at? I'm just going to give you, I think, three sites at the moment, CBT Nuggets. The second one, Plural Site. And the third is Udemy. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe so that you are kept informed of any changes. And for those that have got questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. On the Network Hustle, we love talking about all things networking and it's all about creating value for you 